Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends. And after we finish, don't forget to download the video and post it wherever you wish. And this video actually specifically is made for sure for everybody, but specifically for those who live in Indonesia. You know, in Indonesia, it's a country, it's the biggest uh, country uh, of Islamic population. But this country suffers from a big problem, which is ignorance. And when your teacher is an ignorant, what you expect from the students? So I asked the Indonesians uh, uh, people to send me some names of uh, who they call themselves scholars in Indonesia. And they gave me some names, a list of names. And supposedly this is the biggest one. So I said to myself, let us see how big he is. Is he really big or he's a balloon? You know, there is many that are balloon. And I believe he is a, he is just a balloon. He have nothing but gas inside. You know, when you go to a country where nobody speaks Arabic, just act like you are knowing Arabic, and you say, I came from Saudi Arabia. I know actually a Middle Eastern Christians who was hired in Sarajevo to be imam of a mosque just because they look for somebody to speak Arabic. He's an Arab. He's an Arab. But he's a Christian. The guy desperately, he was looking for a job. He was a student. And his family cut off for some reason. They cannot send him money. So imagine an Arab Christian. He worked for an imam in a mosque in Sarajevo, teaching Muslims about Islam. And he was saying Arabic, Muhammad is a liar. Muhammad is a shish kebab. And the Muslims in, in, in their language, they were saying, Ameen. And Indonesian people are no different. A guy, he come and he claim, okay, I was in Saudi Arabia and I studied the Quran. And today I'm going to teach you about Islam. But if the Arab themselves cannot teach you about Islam, how you can teach about Islam? So I said to myself, let me ask those who claim to be scholars or a cleric or making a living from the business of Islam. Islam is a big business, successful business, by the way. Because here we go, you have a very good life. Uh, you know, I'm I assure you all of them, they have a fancy life. And all what you do, just uh, try like uh, force yourself to space, uh, say, learn some Arabic words. You know, like just do the trick. And then whatever you say after that, who even care or what they care for, that supposedly you are praising the prophet of paganism who told them to kiss a black stone, pray for a stone, go around a stone. And the funny, I just saw a Muslim posting in Facebook saying, Christians are pagan. And I wonder who is the pagan? Is it us who kiss a stone, pray in the front of a stone, in the direction of a stone, going around the stone, and then when we fight shaitan, we throw a stone. All your religion is from the stone age. And it is based on stones. Now, who is the Muslim really from Indonesia? He have the courage and the knowledge to stand up for a Christian prince and to come for a debate. Some of you send me some names you know in my uh, uh, page and like this guy bismillah al-rahman al-rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen sees kebab ameen and the muslims okay we agree but what he said what he is talking about allah knows best and you will notice he is sitting in the uh, in a chair is colored by gold i mean it doesn't ma make sense unless it's from gold because he is an islamic teacher so how we have to set him in gold? We cannot set him in silver. Look like this guy do not know that the prophet, he said gold is haram for men. Hmm. And this is a clear sign that he is really a teacher. What happened that Muhammad, he stole a, 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 a ring. He killed the man and he killed the ring, take the ring from him. And then, as you know, Muhammad is a gang leader. He's a thief. He's the same as the pirate. So after he killed the man and he took his ring, Muhammad, he started looking at the ring. And it's and people, they notice that this prophet, he is so busy with the ring. And this is how silly this man is. Imagine a ring, make him forget what he is about. Suppose he's a prophet. And after people start talking about him, so Muhammad took the ring off and he said, you know what? I forbid Muslim men from wearing golden rings. 
because they will take your attention from Allah <laughs> and here is telling us how silly the mind of this man who little tiny golden ring he stole he's not even his own make him go away from Allah so those who call themselves and the funny by the way I find it funny that Muslim they call themselves Ustaz look look you see in the front of the name here this guy he called himself Ustaz and he always posts some words in Arabic to anything he say Ustaz inna dina in the Islam brother what does that mean religion for Allah is Islam well, hold, hold on if religion for Allah is Islam so why Allah promised the Sabi and and the Jews and the Christians to go to heaven and if the Islam is the religion why he called them Sabi and, and why he called them Jews and why he called them Nasara I mean that's what a silly cult Ustaz in the Middle East if you want to insult somebody you call him Ustaz especially if he is not Ustaz you can ask anyone Ustaz is a teacher by the way so why are you adding next to your name Ustaz look at this another one Ustaz Adi Hidayat Ustaz Adi Hudayat I would love to invite you brother to come and join us and teach us from your knowledge as long as you are an Ustaz and actually I will be so excited if you come and call me live on air and give us school us show the Indonesian who they are leaving Islam because of what I do by thousands show them that this guy he know nothing Ustaz so Ustaz Adi Hidayat are going to come and do Ustaz for us and look how they grow this beard which is funny I mean obviously it's not working it look like fake so I want to grow a beard I do not know two words about Allah and actually I posed for him by the way here at challenge debate and I told him this is a translation of Google I said because of this kafir Christian Prince uh, more than 100,000 left Islam brother aren't you going to do something for him brother so do you think he is going to do something absolutely not so all those who claim to be scholars and one of you here sent me a list of names just to make that this video is not for one person all the names we see in the front of us here are more than welcome to call me and to debate me live on air Khalid Basmillah Basalama 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 this guy his last name goodbye okay Ustaz Adi Felix Siwaw uh, Yahya Waluni uh, Munzer Stimborang Seven Up, no, not Seven Up, St Stephen Indara Wibobo, uh, Mulaf Central Indonesia. Oh, so you know, th this guy already we we smoked him. This guy is is a uh, shish kebab already. This guy he made the video for me and we made him history because of his video I don't know what happened to him if he's still alive or if he had a heart attack so to make it short please uh, Indonesian translate this video post it around and let us see who of them is brave enough to call me and to join us live on air all right now we will be back live on air very soon but this is just a, sh a video for Indonesian so they can up sub uh, add subtitle and I assure you that all those people who claim to be scholars or ustaz, they are neither ustaz, neither they know two words about Islam. And to prove it to you, tell them why you don't accept to challenge Christian Prince. As long as Allah is God and He will give you victory. I mean, what you will lose? Don't you want to bring victory to Islam? This guy is making a lot of Muslims leave Islam. So, brother. Why you don't call a Christian prince? I heard that he is ignorant and I heard he know nothing and I heard that you can destroy him easy and I heard many things After all the herd we heard aren't you going to call him and let us heard from you? So brother I want us I want us all of us to take those videos the video I made Add subtitle like one of you can add the subtitle so not all of you like have work in it 
if one of you can make the subtitle give it to me back I will publish it again or I will post the link so all of you can get the benefit of taking the video and share it everywhere in Facebook etc and listen if those people don't dare to call me that's mean they are worry about their career they are fake because what you will lose call this guy for a Christian Prince who don't want to kiss a black stone because he believe it's pagan call this guy for a Christian Prince who don't want to lick the black stone because he believe it's disgusting call this Christian Prince who believe that you cannot pray to the direction of Kaaba and by the way Indonesia was praying to Africa for the last 1,000 year thinking that it is the Kaaba direction why your God Allah did not send you Jibreel to squeeze you say hey you are not praying to me you are praying to Al-Qazafi for a thousand year you are praying the direction of of Libya of Africa why Allah did not send you Jibreel he say hey my people my servants you are not praying to uh, Jerusalem uh, sorry to to the Kaaba actually hold on let me search for the news so the Muslim will not say uh, I'm making things up I will put it in the screen Indonesian praying to wrong direction Prophet Google peace upon him here we go do you see it here we go look Indonesian Muslims turn prior back to Mecca after 1,000 mile mistake 1,000 mile actually here in the news said they were praying to Somalia you are praying to who the Somalian uh, who the pirate to who so after after all those hundreds of years you are praying to the wrong direction Allah did not send you even a chicken to say to you look listen Abdul you are not praying to me where is Allah where is your Allah the Lord of the black stone the Lord of the ring he can do better so my friend the God who could not correct your direction he is a silly God because anyway you cannot pray to the direction of Mecca because the earth is not a flat hello how somebody he is next to Australia he can face Mecca and the only way to do it is to put your head in the in the hole in the ground and you pray upside down which means your legs is up your head is down because the, the Mecca is in the other side of the earth this is why we say Islam is a stupid religion how does God do not know that the earth is the flat so brother and sisters Ustaz we would love to enjoy every Ustaz to teach us about the amazing beautiful religion of Islam so more of us can come I want to convert to Islam but until now I could not find the right Ustaz so which Ustaz is the perfect one this one by the way you don't look happy you look like Christian Prince in his base I mean even Christian Prince you don't look upset that much I get you know once they took a picture of me and they want to publish it in a newspaper the the bank the newspaper go bankrupt I mean that's it people they like what no, we're not going to buy this newspaper anymore there's many females they lost their babies they were pregnant they want to deliver a baby in a few, in a few days so what's what, relax brother you are a Muslim you should be happy brother I never saw Muslims are happy always angry especially uh, not a Muslim by name a Muslim who is really a Muslim he is angry conspiracy against Islam brother if somebody play cartoon it's conspiracy Mickey Mouse is the enemy of Allah they have a fatwa on Mickey Mouse have you ever heard of a religion like this even Mickey Mouse is a threat to Islam and now by the way Mickey Mouse is fine he's hiding for his life but he's okay so we will be waiting for any Mickey Mouse oh sorry I mean any Ustaz to call us live on air when we are here almost every day at least once so don't tell me you cannot find me you come to my page in YouTube this is my page and now we don't have too many people watching only 853 because Indonesian people they are cooking rice right now brother 
they are busy okay uh, usually we have more Indonesian here so you see Ustaz we need you to come and save the Indonesian people look we have almost 856 brother Indonesian who they are not cooking rice and they are watching right now and they left Islam because of you so we need you to come and help him to come back to Islam mm. so do we have a deal we will be waiting and I don't think you will ever show up thank you guys for being here we will be live again in about two hours so until I see you soon Christ is Lord and may the Lord bless you and Islam is a false cult pagan cult kissing stones going around the stones and even Muhammad he says stones erase your sin touching the stone of the black stone and the Yemeni corner erase your sin how pagan can be more than this it's a stone age religion stone cave time religion will take you backward you see Indonesia like I saw an article actually they are saying the Ministry of Education they have a conference saying that we have a lack of 74,000 Islamic teacher in Indonesia you do not need Islamic teacher you need people to teach you science your people are ignorant they are poor because of ignorance your country is a is a is a wealthy country it's very beautiful one of the reasons making you go back because of Islam so instead of focusing on finding 74,000 teacher to teach you nothing what is the benefit of you learn Islam to join Isis what that will do to Indonesia here we go Saudi Arabia is full of Islamic teachers if not the oil Saudi Arabia will be living now in the camel what Islam brought to Saudi Arabia look at Emirat Emirat is not exist in the world of Islam because they you know the, in the name they are Islamic the more they stay away from Islam the more they go advanced the more Islamic they are the more go in the cave time So instead of wasting the money of the poor Indonesian in giving jobs for 74,000 false teacher who will teach you nothing except what? How to shave under arm? They will tell you that Allah is one God? I'm so glad that he is one, not two. What is the benefit of those? What about seeking to have 74,000 teacher who teach, teach mathematics? Or teach how to do farming correct way of farming what about you know I mean look how they spend their money a poor country in a funny stupid things this is your worry you need 74,000 Islamic teacher well guess what all the teachers you have in Indonesia they know nothing about Islam and here is the real school when you get the 74,000, including the one you call them Ustaz, dare to call me, we will see how much you know about Islam. Thank you very, guys for, for, for watching. Download the video, share it, and we will be live on air again soon in less than two hours. Christ is Lord. Islam is pagan cult. Religion of a stone. Kissing stones. Going around a stone. And praying in the direction of a stone. If this is not paganism, what paganism is? Thank you.